just to give you guys a little recommendation, you know? Today I am here with a recommendation video for fairy tale retelling. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know that I mainly read thrillers, fairy tale retellings, and like the occasional contemporary book. So I figured I would recommend some of my favorite fairy tale retellings to you guys. So without further ado, let us get started. The first recommendation that I have is actually a series. It's probably the most popular fairy tale retelling that I can think of. And it is the entire Luna Chronicles series by Marissa Myers. The first book is Cinder, and it is a Cinderella retelling where Cinderella, who is Cinder, is a mechanic. The second book is Scarlet, and this is a retelling of The Little Red Riding Hood. Then Crest is the third book, and this is the retelling of Rapunzel. And then Winter is the fourth and final book, and it is a retelling of Snow White. The books really don't follow the storyline of the fairy tales, but there's some aspects from each fairy tale that they throw into the story, so don't think that you're gonna get an entire retelling of the story, but I loved every single one of these books. Marissa Meyer is one of my favorite authors. Because of these books, I put them off for so long, and I was like, I wanna read them, everyone else read them, and I'm gonna hate them, and I always hate everything everybody else reads. But like a thousand percent if you haven't read them, which like you probably have, pick them up because they're hecka good. The next book that I have, a lot of people I'm going to say have probably not heard of it. Because I had never heard of it, and then I randomly found it at the thrift store, and I was like, hmm, sounds good, I need it. It's Dust City by Robert Paul Weston. This book is all about the big bad wolf from Little Red Riding Hood, and it's his origin story. The book follows Henry Welp, who is the big bad wolf, or he's destined to be his father, is doing jail time for the double murder of Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother, so everyone assumes that Henry is all into that crime life as well. Henry tries to keep a pretty low profile at the home for Wayward Wolves, so when a murder occurs at the home, Henry is forced to escape, and he starts to think that his father was actually framed by a dealer of fairy dust, which everybody is hooked on. So with the help of a she-wolf named Fiona, he goes off to try to clear his father's name. And it was so much more than I expected. I didn't think I would like it that much, and it turned out to be so exciting, and I really enjoyed this book. So I highly recommend it if you're interested in a big bad wolf retelling kind of thing. The next three books I have are from the same series. It is Alice in Zombieland by Jenna Shoalwater, and this is an Alice in Wonderland retelling where she fights zombies. So like, if that doesn't sound cool to you, like, are you okay? Because like, it sounds amazing. I also have the two other books in the series, but I haven't read them yet. They are Through the Zombie Glass and The Queen of Zombie Hearts. So I'm hoping that I'll eventually get to these. I've had them on my shelf forever. There's also a fourth book that I don't own, which is a mad tea party, I think it's called. But I loved the first book, so why I have not read the second and third book yet, I don't know, because I'm trash, so. Sorry. The next book I have is called Mechanica, and this is by Betsy Cornwell, and I actually have a full review of this book if you're interested, but I really enjoyed it. It's a retelling of Cinderella, where she's also a mechanic. You may think that this is probably just like Cinder, but it's completely different. It takes a totally different turn, but I would highly recommend looking at my review if you want to hear more about this, but it was really, really good. The book follows Nicolette, who is nicknamed Mechanica by her two stepsisters. She learned to be an inventor from her mother, who was also a mechanic, but she passed away a few years earlier, and on her 60th birthday, she finds her mother's workshop in her basement. There she finds a tiny little metal horse named Jules who comes to life with the help of this dust that she finds in her mother's workshop and that starts her journey of creating a bunch of automatons and trying to better herself so that she can participate in the royal ball for inventors and it's basically that journey but highly recommend checking out my review if you want to hear my full thoughts on it but I absolutely love this book 
highly recommend it. It's so good. There's also a second book in the series called Venturous, which I highly recommend as well because it's even better than this one. Just like my final fairy tale recommendation, you can probably all guess what it is as well. It's very popular. It's Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is the Red Queen origin story, and I absolutely loved it. I have a full review of it as well if you want to check that out, but I pretty sure I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I had to deduct something because something happened that I'm still not over, but we'll move on from that. This book follows Kath, who wants to be a baker, but her family wants her to marry the king of hearts. Kath desperately wants to open a bakery, but her parents will hear nothing of it. So when the royal ball comes around and Kath is supposed to accept the marriage proposal of the king, she meets Jest, who is the jester of the court, and things get a little bit interesting from there. They begin a secret courtship, and Kath has to decide what she's willing to give up in order to live the dreams that she wants. I personally love this book. I think that everybody should read it. I think that it's one that you either love or hate. Personally, I loved it, so I'm recommending it. You should all read it. Thank y'all. All right, guys, so that was my fairy tale retelling recommendation video. Let me know down below if you want any other recommendation videos because they're actually really fun to make and I feel like everybody has different recommendations based off of their likes so I would be interested in hearing what y'all want to know about my recommendations. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!